guys, I'm the Architectural Insider and today we have a quick school haul video. I'm really excited to show you guys what I brought today, so let's get right into it. First off, we have some fine liners. These are fine liners that I brought. They are a pack of six and they come in a various different line thickness. They are smooth, free flowing lines, rich, pure, opaque black pigments, super Japan nib, light, fast pigment in they do come in a little pack which is very nice as you can see you can open and close it next up we have some sharpies now I was gonna get a whole pack of 25 sharpies but then I thought I didn't really use all of them and there's no point wasting my money so you have red green blue and black which are the main colors that I use when drawing on I only use these to highlight specific corners or a specific drawing once again these are they have a bold fine tip they're quick drying you can use these on plastic bottles on glass on wood on metal on clothes next up we have some highlighters these are very very small highlighters because i personally don't use them a lot and i only use them when i'm when i have some papers and i just need to highlight a few words or a few sentences uh, you can see that they come in four colors and a anti-slip grip section Next up we have some Stabilo highlighters. I only got a small pack once again because I won't be using every single color as I only use them to highlight specific areas just like the Sharpies and I use them sometimes to write. The nibs are 0.4 millimeters. They can also be used as pastel colors. Next up is something that we all, know, all recognize as architectural students, Pro Markers. I only got the grey ones because those are the ones I mainly use and needed. The rest I already have colors of. So these pro markers they have a very fine and a very wide tip. They are non-toxic which is ideal because I don't think you want toxic pens. If you guys want me to do a specific review on pro markers themselves please let me know in the comment section below. Next up I have a pack of color pencils. These color pencils are by Stadletter. Stadletter. I don't know how to pronounce it. Anyway, they come in a pack of 24 with these color pencils. If you want a light green, you can use the green and just not go very dark. And if you want a dark green, you could go very, very deep and get a dark green color. Now, for sketching, I got some, again, some Stadletter's, Stadletter's pencils. Uh, these are a pack of 12. They come in a various of uh, thicknesses from 2H to 6B, which is very useful for drawing as architects. However, I do have a mechanical pencil which I use more for specifically writing and sketching doodles. But when it comes to a, doing a proper drawing, this is what I use mainly. Next up is a scale ruler, which is the architect's most precious and useful and used tool, I think. This ruler it has 12 sides because that ruler is so big you can't really put it in your pocket or in your bag to take it all over with you so that's why I brought these it's a it's a metal geometry set now it has a long ruler it has a triangle it has the rectangle triangle and it has the semi square I chose metal specifically because I can use them as a steel ruler to cut models and I can use them as normal. Last but not least I have a logbook. Now this is where everything is everything everything everything. Okay, this sketchbook itself it has 50 sheets and it's 135 uh, GSM which is ideal because then your pro markers won't run through or your sharpies won't run through. So that's my shopping haul. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you next time.